All right, what is going on Scorpio Collective? Welcome or welcome back to the channel, Elevated Spirits. It's Jazzy, your favorite Cali reader. This is gonna be your, um, what reading is this that we're doing? I'm sorry, it's it's been a while, it's been a lot going on, but um, we're here, we are here, we are now. So this is gonna be your basically seasonal reading um, for this time frame, which is the winter season that we're in, which ranges, which is the winter, basically winter solstice, where that's when it started on December 21st. And this is time, this time frame is um, from December 21st to March 19th. Okay, so this is covering this time frame. Um, what is your next major event from, you know, between then? So we have plenty of time, you know, for this to um, unfold. For some of you, this may have already started unfolding. For others of you, this has not taken place yet. So please um, place the messages as they fit, as they resonate. If it's not your message, there is definitely a potential um, that this may just simply have not have played out for you yet. Okay, so... If it's not your message, you know, please leave it for someone else or just, you know, don't take it personal because it's really not. That's what the private consultations are for. OK, so if you're feeling so guided, you can uh, feel free to reach out for one of those. So um, what else did I want to say? I feel like that's it for the moment. Um, announcements that I have, I'm not ready to make those at the moment. So I'll save those because I haven't posted links and things like that. So I'll save that for another time. So let's get into your guys's reading so just looking at the bottoms of the decks that i have used um things may be hidden from you at this time okay there may be also for some of you this could definitely represent things that have been hidden underneath the surface that are going to you know that are starting to bubble up at this time for some of you this has to do with um you know limitations limiting beliefs subconscious beliefs things that are you know hidden in your subconscious that um some of you there may be this could have to do with fears okay things that some of you i feel like some of you it's like are being asked at this time to make more time to do things that you find joy in okay i know that you know scorpios i know work really really hard and they work a lot and i feel like if that's if you fit the bill of that um you're really being asked to you know also find time to take action on things that you enjoy things that make you happy things that you know are maybe not work related okay um or at least, you know, at the at the least, finding, you know, different things that you can incorporate, you know, your work into, like, to make your work fun if you have to. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of you also, as you, I feel like some of you definitely have things that are coming in that are, like, things that you've been asking for, things you've been praying for. It's, it's kind of like in a place of flux. It's going to, I feel like for some of you, it is going to require some type of risk. Um, you know, maybe, like, kind of like jumping out there, putting yourself out there in some type of way without... You know knowing exactly how it's going to turn out um it's kind of like the universe honors the brave you know what i'm saying um so it's kind of like i feel like some of you are really being asked at this time to really you know trust what you're being guided to do trust that whatever action you're being guided to take is going to get you to where you need to go there is it's a level of confidence that's required here um with whatever this is and i feel like for some of you it could definitely have to do with just you know things that you you know have been wanting to do but maybe have been scared to do um, you know, out of whatever, you know, fear of judgment or, you know, previous experiences or, you know, um, projected, projected beliefs or ideologies about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, for me, I used to believe that I was scared of heights, even though I loved fly, I want to go parasailing. I want to, um, you know, skydive and different things like that. And I realized later on three, three, three on the camera. Um, I realized later on that for me, it was more so I was scared because my mom told me that that was a fear she had, you know, that was something that got instilled in me at a very young age um, about being afraid of heights, even though I realized like, I'm really not afraid of heights. And then come to find out when I took my mom ziplining um, one time a few years back 
she wasn't she had a great time too she actually did it she actually did it and realized as well and i asked her like where did that come from you know where where's this fear of heights came from where did like where did that even start and, and then it come to find out it was her mom so it just shows you how you know um fears from our parents get passed down and we sort of hold on to those and you know kind of like adapt into those like embody those as if they're our own and so i feel like for some of you there may be things like that that are coming up at this time that are um you know coming up for you to essentially you know kind of do your best to overcome them to you know let go of them release them in order to you know bring in the things that really honestly make you happy okay so your next major turning point and event so these are based off of let me that's what i wanted the other thing i wanted to do is explain that um real fast the reading itself so we're doing major arcanas only with this at least with this row starting um what your next major event is during this time frame clarified by the tarot followed by um how is it benefiting you clarified by the tarot how it may be challenging you and I always say potentially or maybe and that's just simply because your free will your decisions always play a part or your decisions or lack thereof will always play a part in the things that happen um and you can always you know choose and decide if you want to claim a reading or claim you know whatever comes out you don't have to right um because you are the creator of your reality ultimately so we're co-creator so how this may be potentially challenging you um advice from spirit and a potential outcome all those clarified by the tarot okay so for you guys we have the hangman and the hierophant all right so the hangman is um, a pisces energy hierophant is a taurus energy you may have those uh, signs in your chart they may be north node um, for some of you they may be your moon sign they may be um just people in your life that are um, of significance at this time so the hangman typically talks about you know surrendering um when we hang ourselves up you know when this man in this card hangs himself upside down that's essentially his way of taking a step back from a situation and essentially allowing himself to see something from a higher or different perspective i just saw 555 on the timer so that's again representing change i feel like things are definitely um in like i was saying earlier in flux at this time so i feel like some of you may be um there may be something that some of you are either being asked to release let go of whether it's control of a situation can, trying to control the outcome trying to you know decide how something is going to go i feel like this is a period where you're being asked to where i feel like for some of you um there's a lesson that i feel like some of you are, are trying are being taught here whether you know you realize it or not um i feel like it's kind of like a lesson in shifting your perspective some of you this has to do with the spiritual awakening okay some of you are awakening to maybe your gifts or um like a upgrade of your gifts for those of you who already are aware or have gifts that you know for sure online some of you the, this is essentially speaking of an upgrade that's happening or taking place you know very soon if it hasn't taken place already others of you this is gifts that are coming online okay but um the, what i'm back to the previous message that i was getting here is that some of you at this time are really being asked to shift your perspective about a situation okay for some of you this has to do with um you know a commitment for some of you it's something you're committed to that you're being asked to let go of or surrender you'll know how this fits based on your own situation it's going to be different for all of you there's a lot of you that i'm reading for so you know like i said apply them as they fit um others of you this could definitely also be talking about like I was saying, um, seeing something from a different perspective, okay? Some of you are awakening to that, you know, um, like seeing something differently, seeing how something was maybe that um, you wanted to go a certain way and why it didn't go that way. For some of you, this is awakening to why something played out how it did, okay? Um, it's like teaching you something, again, um, helping you awaken to, you know, why things are playing out how they are. You know, sometimes it's like we wonder why, well, I wanted this and why didn't that happen? Not realizing there is a deeper and higher purpose behind, you know, why situations play out the way they do. So for some of you, that could be what this is, um, you know, that's playing out during this time frame is, you know, your ability to see something differently. You know, it's something is teaching you. It feels like something is teaching you um, how to look at something from a different perspective. It's teaching you how to, you know, and for some of you, this part of your life's work, you know, if you're a person that helps people, um, some type of influencer, some type of, um, you know, like a, um, a role model, you know, like a positive figure, um, public figure, something like that. This can definitely be talking about, you know, shifting your perspective. And that sometimes requires us to go through it ourselves. That way we can have that actual experience to then help other people. So some of you are going through this personally where you're being asked to surrender, to let go. I feel like some of you, it's kind of like giving me energy of kind of like taking your own advice. You know, it's, it's easy for us to tell people, you know, oh, just, you know, let it go, let it play out, you know, 
da 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 and you know some of you are have been maybe giving that type of advice but some of you are maybe coming into this energy of needing to take that advice for yourself being able to see things from a different perspective from a, a perspective maybe you haven't considered yet on how maybe a situation that maybe um isn't going your way or with something that didn't work out seeing how it's actually maybe benefiting you over versus hurting you okay um for some of you this is like maybe also about something that maybe you're being asked to release um this could also be showing you how you know in releasing this you're being asked to release this or something is maybe being released from your life whether you want it to or not is because you've essentially learned all that you were supposed to learn from that situation from that connection from that environment that job whatever it might be for you um you know that could be what this is as well is that you know it's time to you know focus on what makes you happy again what makes you feel most fulfilled um, for some of you, that's kind of what something is teaching you, essentially. Okay. So, um, clarifying that energy, we have two cards that came out for you guys. So, we have the Two of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Okay. So, for some of you, um, this feels like something that maybe you haven't been wanting to acknowledge. This could definitely be talking about another person. Okay. If you're a masculine, this could be talking about a feminine, another, um, like a female, another woman, the other woman, a mistress type of energy. Um, for others of you, this is simply talking about you know not some of you not wanting to step into your power okay something that maybe you haven't been wanting to acknowledge something that maybe you haven't been wanting to see because the two of swords is a blocked energy so that's sometimes um information that is either hidden from us on purpose like meaning like someone isn't giving us all the details or that's something that sometimes can represent an energy of information that we didn't want to see for ourselves meaning like you know not wanting to see that something just isn't meant for me right instead deciding like well if i try harder or if i you know do more then maybe it'll change instead of just seeing like you know your intuition i feel like you know has maybe been telling you like this job isn't going to work out it's not going to last such mu that much longer but then it's like no but i really like it and i really enjoy it and it's fun and it's easy and da 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 but if you're not growing right it's kind of like keeping you stuck so it's like sometimes you we have that inkling of like damn it just feels like something isn't going to work but we want it so bad so i feel like some of you this is something that you're already aware of you already know about but maybe you just haven't been wanting to see it for what it is see a person for who they are see a situation for what it is and also what it's not and um i feel like it's essentially basically putting you back in your power helping you take back control of your own you know energy and essentially take you know putting you in a position to take action on the things like i was saying that make you happy that make you feel at ease at peace um that make you feel ultimately fulfilled right in your own life so clarifying that energy is the king of wands interesting so for some of you this is definitely can have to do with a connection releasing a connection of some sort um or seeing the connection from a different perspective seeing it from a different um a different point of view a different angle okay because like i said the hangman can definitely represent a surrendering energy kind of just like you know what i'm gonna give it up to the universe i'm gonna let it play out how it's gonna play out if it's gonna work out it'll work out and if it doesn't then it wasn't meant to be right for some of you that's the lesson in learning you know to not have to not feeling like you have to fight for something it's like if you have to fight for it then it's not for you right if you have to you know try to prove yourself or you know do all this extra shit jump through hoops for something it's not for you right and so for some of you this is definitely a connection and i say that because we have the king and the queen of wands here so this is like maybe something that was passionate a connection that maybe had a lot of passion a lot of fire um and desire behind it but maybe you know like i said there's there's a hidden element here there's something that maybe you're not seeing about it something that for some of you whether it's information that someone isn't sharing with you it also feels like just something that maybe you haven't been wanting to acknowledge about it and needing to finally shift your perspective to see what it why the, you know what this connection was ultimately trying to teach you with the higher font okay for others of you this could definitely be talking about a commitment that some of you are already in there's something maybe hidden about this commitment that you guys are needing to release so some of you this could be like for example um you know being in a relationship and you know that the relationship isn't working but or you know that you feel like this person isn't maybe being honest with you maybe they're cheating but it's like you know there's history there so it's like you end up staying in something that you know isn't for you or because you committed to it but you know that you know you're, you're not trying to see the red flags some of you this is like ignoring the red flags ignoring that there is someone else involved but you know because you committed to it because y'all are married or because you know you're living together whatever that i have to stay in something that i you know ultimately i know that there's more going on than meets the eye 
So this is, you know, like I said, take it how it fits. But for some of you, this is, you know, ultimately about believing in yourself enough, being confident in what you know, even if you don't have physical, tangible evidence and proof. Some of y'all are very psychic. You're very intuitive. So if your intuition is telling you that someone around you isn't being honest or someone you're dating is cheating on you and you just maybe don't have evidence to prove it, this is, you know, basically indicating that you know what's going on. And it's just a matter of you being in your confidence and taking action from that place, stepping into your masculine energy. It doesn't matter what gender you are, stepping into that masculine and energy and taking action and responding accordingly okay for your own highest good and benefit okay so how this may be benefiting you is journey and truth okay so for some of you this is really about being honest with yourself okay being honest about this um two of this journey here with the two gives me it's giving me two of wands energy okay this is an oracle deck but i do feel intuitively there are some tarot correspondences to this um so it feels like for some of you how this is benefiting you is really putting you on you know, either for some of you is helping release something, helping you, you know, really step more into your truth, into your authenticity, really put you on your path. For others of you, this is talking about really um, helping you, in, you know, really get on the path of being honest with yourself, speaking your truth and acknowledging the truth when you see it and not hiding from it out of, you know, fear or out of, you know, attachment or, um, codependency right staying places we don't belong or we know that aren't for us but because it's more comfortable to stay than go then we ultimately you know stay instead of packing our bags and leaving because we know that we need to be honest with ourselves we know that being true to ourselves means sometimes means going in a different direction okay so i feel like for some of you that's how this is ultimately benefiting you is because it's helping you speak your truth and helping you leave behind ultimately maybe a life you've been living that really isn't true to you okay or living a life that you know is it really you're not really happy in but you it's it's like i said a, more comfortable to stay you know it's like oh, then i gotta start over and i gotta pack and i gotta do this and move and leave and look for a place and you know that sometimes the, the process of change can be really overwhelming sometimes and then it forces us sometimes to stay in things a little longer than we need to or forces us to stay in things and and miss out on the journey that we could be taking the experiences we could be having okay so clarifying how this may be benefiting you is the seven of pentacles which is clarified by the justice okay so it feels like it feels like um this is really going to help you put your energy and time and investments towards things that are equal things that are reciprocal okay things that are really in alignment and in balance I feel like for some of you, if you've been like maybe over giving to a situation by you really, you know, acknowledging your truth, speaking your truth in a situation and moving in a different direction is ultimately going to restore balance for some of you. It's going to issue karma, you know, and karma isn't good or bad. It's just cause and effect, re meaning the energy put out is what's returned. So for some of you, this is essentially, you know, maybe restoring balance in a certain connection or in an environment where, where you maybe you weren't as appreciated as you could have been or you weren't as um, acknowledged or treated fairly as you could have been, right? This is going to restore balance in the investments that you've made in different places by you speaking your truth and simply being honest with yourself and maybe removing yourself from a situation, okay? So let's see how this may be challenging you is self-reflection and spirit guide. Interesting. So card 17, as I'm recording this tomorrow is the 17th. That's wild. 1702 um, was on the timer. So I feel like when I picked it up, it was at 1700, but two seconds later when I happened to look. Okay. So 17 might be of significance. Um, 1717, that could be also a life path number. You might be born on the 17th. Um, so self-reflection and spirit guide. For some of you, how this may be challenging you is... I feel like some of you, this, this, if this is a person, this person could have been maybe like a spirit guide to you. And maybe this person has taught you all you've needed to learn, you know, up until this point. And now it's time to, you know, continue on the journey on your own. Others of you, this is maybe something that a spirit guide has been telling you, talking to you, maybe sending you messages, um, different synchronicities, things like that, that have been kind of like giving you a heads up. But some of you, like I said, maybe have ignored it. It's maybe something that you weren't trying to see, you weren't trying to look at, you weren't trying to deal with. And so, you know, it's kind of like now putting you in this energy of reflecting, of maybe looking at yourself, looking at, you know, your own, seeing how maybe this energy, whatever is happening, whatever this is, is kind of like showing you parts of yourself where maybe, you know, it's easy to point fingers at other people, but it's difficult to, you know, look at when you're pointing at one person, you have three fingers that are pointing back at you. You see what I'm saying? How we point and we blame someone and we want to give, you know, put the you know, the blame on someone else or make someone else responsible 
in order to, you know, relieve us of being accountable, there's still three, four, three fingers pointing back at us, right? So for some of you, this may feel like a challenge because it may be showing you parts of yourself that are, you know, that's, it's doing that on purpose to help you heal. So that's what I was saying earlier, where some of you, this is maybe happening in order to have you look at yourself to see maybe it's enlightening you for some of you, because both of these cards are um, cards of awakening, cards of enlightenment. Okay. So some of you, whatever this is that's happening here, some of you haven't been wanting to see that something that you're experiencing is just simply showing you um, where maybe you're needing to do the same for yourself or parts of yourself that you're needing to identify and look at. Um, and like I said, that's not always easy to do, but you know, you do it, it's necessary. And, um, essentially looking in the dark, looking at those dark places is essentially where you find your magic. That's where you, where the light, you know, you shine the light there. And that's, you know, there's a lot of times hidden treasures in the dark where you, where you can't see, you know? Um, so let's see, clarifying this energy is judgment. So this is definitely, like I said, an awakening energy, heeding the call, answering the call. Some of you are being called. You're being called into your purpose. Um, some of you, this is like a, a final decision that is needing to be made in a situation or, you know, like I said, about a job, a connection, a relationship, a friendship, whatever this is. Some of you, this is maybe challenging to you because it's forcing you to really be honest with yourself for some of you and really look in the mirror and ask, what do I want? What do I deserve? What, what is my next step forward? And make, you know, make a choice make a final decision. Am I going to stay or go? Am I going to do this or that? You know, whatever that might be for you. So clarifying that is the eight of swords. So it makes sense that some of you, this could definitely be speaking of a second chance that maybe you're wanting with someone or someone's wanting with you. And some of you are really being asked to really look in the mirror and see, you know, what, what, are, where am I putting my energy? What, what needs to change? What is this trying to show me? about myself right and some of you might be finding yourself kind of like overthinking it or feeling stuck you know in a situation not really knowing what to do but understand you know that you always have spirit guides that are around you that are here to help you that are here to guide you that are here to you know when you feel like you have no one else to talk to or no one else of of reliable you know or that can that you can really rely on or give you sound um and helpful advice you always have a spirit team that's on standby just for you waiting but you you know they're not allowed to um you know step in or infringe upon your free will you have to you have to ask you know you have to give them permission to guide you to help you to you know what i'm saying it's like they could send you signs but if you're not acknowledging them it doesn't matter right so i feel like like i said some of you this may feel like a challenge because maybe you're you know that there's a decision that needs to be made ultimately and some of you are really feeling you know kind of like overthinking it making it worse than maybe it, what it could be and not realizing that if i you know decide you know to respond confidently in this situation and know that however it plays out is for my ultimate highest and greatest good that you know some of you don't realize that something wonderful can come out of this as on the other side of this with the nine of cups here at the underneath the bottom of the deck so this is what you don't see something that maybe ultimately you know something that isn't for you here but ultimately is leading you to something way better okay and underneath that is your own uh energy here with the death so this is like you know you've shown up in your own reading um you know needing to ultimately make a decision i feel like once you make this decision and kind of like get out of your head about it even if that feels like a challenge to you um you'll ultimately see how something was really benefiting you how it's really you know to pushing you into a life that actually fulfills you that actually makes you happy okay so potential overall outcome we have the eight of pentacles which is clarified by the two of wands so some of you this is this could definitely be regarding a job this could definitely be like some of you this could be for example losing like losing a job right getting let go of of some type of oh that makes sense so some of you this could definitely be getting like energy of getting fired and some of you may be really hard on yourself but it's maybe putting you you know helping you be honest with yourself and be like you know i like i wasn't happy there anyway like i knew i should have left a long time ago but i was you know trying to wait it out till this or that or you know like we could have come with a million excuses about why we stay places longer than we need to so for some of you that could also be what this is is being let go of and because this um hierophant represents organizations it represents um traditional values churches like you know um, places of uh, like with rules traditional you know things like that so for some of you that could exactly do definitely be what this is as well where you know some of you this could be something that maybe you kind of like had a feeling about but wasn't sure 
you know didn't see it but others of you this could definitely be something that you didn't see coming with the two of swords this could be something like i said that kind of just happened suddenly and you weren't expecting it okay but this is also like i said an opportunity to really step into your power and and balance you know balance your your feminine and masculine energy here and really take action on your own it's probably for some of you it feels like if this you know if that's what this is about where you may have lost a job or been let go of it's your some of you may not be seen right it, even if it's unexpected this also represents you know um is giving me some of you aren't seeing the benefit of this you're not seeing how this is really pushing you into maybe starting your own business or pursuing things like finally giving you the time that some of you have been needing that maybe you've been putting into working for someone else it's finally like helping you free up that time to pour into your own desires into your own goals into your own passions and projects and things that instead of doing that for someone else it's like freeing you positioning you to do that for yourself right some of you have been wanting to do this some of you have been asking to do this but didn't know that you know it's like damn i wasn't like i wanted to start my own business but i didn't say i wanted to do it like this you know what i'm saying it's it's kind of giving me that energy here so you know like i said some of you this is essentially taking your work the time then the effort that you've put into a particular jobs company situation and taking that in a different direction and i was saying what did i say earlier i told y'all this reminds me of the two of wands and here goes the two of wands in your outcome okay so journey energy this is definitely going on a journey taking you know leaving the past behind and moving in a new direction essentially you know packing lightly taking maybe what you have and you know going in a different direction okay so i feel like it's it may feel scary at first but i definitely feel like you know ultimately you will be happy that you made the decision you will be you know at the end of the day you'll be happy with why things happen the way they did how they turned out okay so let's see advice from your spirit team we have autumn so within the next six to nine months and your energy is showing up here in this card as well so for some of you in the next three months um because there's a three here so for some of you this could be the third month which is um from heat from now we're already in january so February, March, April. For some of you, this could be March or it's giving me March or April energy, but um, because we're currently in winter, so this is this will be autumn now, but within maybe the next six to nine months. For some of you, this could definitely be sooner, which is giving me March, April vibes. So, you know, take that as it resonates. That could be when this takes place, when this happens. Um, so that we have the Libra energy here, card five. So book burning, control, discord, canceled. So some of you, like I said, this could be being feeling like you're being canceled, like you're being censored in some type of way. Um, but this is, a, again, an opportunity to change the narrative with that hangman. Again, shifting your perspective, seeing the blessing in disguise, seeing how, you know, um, you weren't maybe that maybe some of you were so limited and you were OK with that or you allowed yourself to adapt to that. But whatever you're being freed from here is essentially um, putting you in a position to rewrite history, to, you know, do things differently, to maybe do something that has never been done in your bloodline. OK. So it's just, again, it's a matter of how you choose to see it, okay? And then we have your own fucking energy here, the nine, Phoenix, okay? Um, transformation, rebirth, renew, resurrection, destroy, rising from the ashes, transmutation, ascension. The end is just the beginning. And like I just, I said that earlier, okay? Both these cards represent enlightenment. That's also ascension. And then we have ascension here. So for some of you, this is exactly what this is. Where some of you are awakening to maybe a higher level of your calling because that's also what the judgment card represents so for some of you it's weird how in literally four different cards okay three decks four different cards we have enlightenment coming up ascension so some of you this is going through like a major spiritual awakening some of you have already been going through this and you're literally this nine could be representing being on the tail end of this okay being on the tail end of this transformation and and so it feels so it's like you know letting you know for those of some of you already are aware but others of you just know that when things are falling apart or feel like they're falling apart in your life understand that that's typically letting you know more than ever even though it doesn't feel like that that you're on the brink of a break of a major breakthrough so just know that if things are falling apart you're getting fired things have to get worse before they get better things have to fall apart before they can be rebuilt you see what i'm saying so you know um i feel like it's just important for you guys to know that if you're being canceled if you're feeling like you're being limited or you know something is being destroyed you're being you've been let go of anything that's really falling apart in a major way just know that things you know it will be rebalanced that's sometimes the universe's way of you know fixing it making it right you know balancing rebalancing the scales of karma okay it's like sometimes that's that's what karma is again you know it's like you have to let it play out it's like going to a movie and you're paying for the movie and getting like maybe halfway through almost to the end you're like fuck this shit this is stupid why am i still here i'm leaving and then instead it's like you know what 
let me shift my perspective. I already paid for the movie. Let me just see the movie play out. Let me just stay to the end. So that way I'm not wasting my money. Who knows? I may like it at the very end. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a an analogy of, you know, shifting your perspective. You already made the investment, right? Seven of Pentacles, that's making the investment. It's like you've already done that. So let it play out. Let it play out. Let, you know, karma do its thing. Let the universe, you know, work its magic and do its part to rebalance the scales and make things right on your behalf, okay? So Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you have not. And until next time, you guys, I'll leave.